And my concern is that your answer that nothing new is found in the Benghazi hearings continues to give me some doubts because what seemed to have come out was that you were pushing the video paradigm when you were writing an email to your daughter that said the opposite. And the other doubt, so I'd like you to address that in addition to why you felt you had to destroy so many emails and they had nothing to do, that much to do with yoga. Everybody knows you can't write 30,000 emails to your yoga instructor. The other thing is um, about the, I know I've heard your somewhat pat answer about previous secretaries of state using private emails. I understand that. I'm guessing that even the president probably does. Yeah. Let me finish. Don't worry. <laughs> um, but they didn't have a private server. So these are the things that are lingering. Okay. Well, that let me, have let to me be answer. Let me answer. I'd like to Thank address. You. No. Please. Look, I, I, I'm glad. Look, I, I, I said I'm here to answer any questions, and I appreciate you asking any and any follow-up questions. I'll just give you a brief overview. I'm not going to take you 11 hours through it. Uh, before we were attacked at Benghazi, our embassy in Cairo was attacked, but it's a fortified, strong building. It was attacked because of the video. That was absolutely true. When Benghazi happened, it was the fog of war. There was no clear understanding, and there wasn't for many, many days. The first claim of responsibility for Benghazi came from a group, a terrorist group, that claimed responsibility. And we, after that happened, that's when I communicated with my daughter. And so between the time I told my daughter that and the next day, that group withdrew their claim of responsibility. Look at the timeline. Did the video play a part? It certainly played a part in all the other attacks we were under. Did the ringleader who we arrested and now have in this country for trial say it played a part? He did. Were they terrorists? Yes, they were. Those are not in contradiction. I want Americans to look at it, to judge it, to figure out what we do. And I regret that four brave Americans whose lives were lost serving our country have been put in the middle of what is a very political effort. I just think it's wrong, and I don't think we should let it continue. <laughs>